but welcome. This video game, as you can see, right up here, right at the top, it's called Grounded. It's a smart move to make your title at the top of the screen. It makes it easy to figure out what it is. Uh, this is a cool survival action game where you play as diminutive uh, youths trapped in a backyard with various levels of creatures and critters. Uh, but what's cool about it, well, I mean, there's a lot of cool things about it, but a cool thing about it is what if you're scared of spiders? What if spiders really, really frighten you? Let's go ahead and see. Here's what your default spider looks like. Horrifying, right? Scary little thing. A uh, compelling beast. But what if I what if I was a little scared of spiders? What if I was like, I wish those spiders were a little less spidery? Oh. Alright. There's like here's our first downgrade of spider. I feel like I'm not gonna lie, this would maybe worry me almost a little bit more. But it does have fewer legs, I guess that's to be appreciated. What if we took it even down more? What if your spiders just were not bound to the earth? What if they could just move? Oh, that looks a little... That that looks... That's just a rough time on that one. Oh, okay. We're getting kind of cute with that one. I've, ro I've rolled back around. I would not feel threatened by this one. And there you go. As unspider as we can make it. Just two big old orbs hovering at you and spinning web. But you know what? Over here we believe in real spiders. Spiders are the actual creature. Maybe we'll turn them off at some point if they get too scary. Uh, but for now, I think we're going to keep spiders. Anyways, I have only played this. I played this for a couple hours with some friends last or uh, this weekend. But we, just to get it all figured out and kind of piece things together, we turned the bug aggression all the way down to the point where we could beat them up and they would not at all retaliate. So I have no idea how difficult this game is on the like when it's real. I don't know... But continue just give me... Because we were playing on a friend's multiplayer world. So I'm assuming if I hit continue, I'm not entering their world. But would I still have my character with, like, all my armor and stuff made, I think? Hey, you know what? We'll just start fresh. We'll figure it out. We'll see what happens. Okay, we're going to keep things on, like, medium. Uh, keep the bugs on, not creative. Sure. Sure. Uh, I was Pete My last time. My friends call me Pete. Let's do it. This yard is Acres of Agony. The name of my backyard. I should have called it one acre of agony. Or a half acre. What's like an actual... I, I, I'm pretty sure the house I grew up on, I was informed that our plot of land was exactly one acre. I don't remember how big acres are, and maybe I'm... Maybe that's crazy, and maybe I'm wrong. Hello. Hello, Prince of Puns. Thank you for that Prime sub. Did you get grounded because you were staying up all night with your Nintendo DS again? Look. Sometimes you really gotta search for those... Black glowing stakes in Pokemon Scarlet, and you gotta just keep your DS on late at night. And your parents will be like, Grant, it's a school night. In case you weren't sure where this game kind of takes place in the alternate history 80s. Look at that, was gas a dollar? Was that what that said? Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers... That's me on the bottom right. I'm Pete. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. 
this could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible oh, I should have like really looked at those like book titles and stuff on the shelf I wonder if it's all all referential or has any other information we got pebble village is that the cer pe the cereal is that fruity pebbles Definitely not stranger things to do, 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 do. Light down your windows, dude. Look, now this is what it's like to be little. This is what a small perspective would be. It's itty bitty. Wonder Woman's parachute. Secret crossover. I must explore Whoa, my surroundings. Pete. Oh, looks like you really stepped in it this time. Just where in the world are you? I'm just a lonely Whoa. nerd. Whoa. All right, Pete. Remember your scout training. Step one: get your bearings. You hear the sounds around me already. All right. Okay. Yo, Megalodon, thank you for those eight months, my friend. Mm, What's up? Ah! Hello. Okay. Oh, yeah, we picked we picked the nerd, so he's going to be like, Oh, F, F. Oh, he's going to know all the scientific names for bugs, is what I'm saying. I got me a rock. Oh, wow. My scout training doesn't have a merit badge for this. It's a big baseball. But as you can see, I've got like a little water and food meter down there at the bottom left, so I'm slowly starving and getting thirsty. Signal detected. What's that? It sounds okay. like a radio signal. It must be being transmitted from your body. Do I kill the weevil? Consulting Detective Weevil, hot on the trail. I don't know He's what things no will solution. aggro me when I'm, I worry that if I start making it clear that I have violent issues towards bug, bugs, the other bugs will return the favor. Oh, I think those oh, mites are... Why don't you just stay over there, yeah, small mites. Red insect. I don't think mites are friendly. collecting rocks don't mind me okay can't craft anything yet because I haven't learned anything yet okay I gotta get to the you'll start seeing what the uh, what the loop of this game is shortly I don't wanna I could be smacking things with this rock but something tells me that's probably not my best means of offense and maybe I can learn how to make more offensive tools, you know? Well, logic dictates that there are probably more of these stations around. Maybe if I keep searching, I'll find some clues. Or some <laughs> Peep a creature, you'll get info, including its er, including aggro status. Okay, good. Do that in a sec. But we do we develop raw science here. And once we get enough science, we can level up and learn how to make stuff. And you see, we're leveling up, building our science meter. 
Now I know how to craft things like a crude rope. Let's go ahead and craft that. Can I make weapons yet? Ooh, okay. What do I need? Thistle? Don't have that. Don't have dry grass chunks yet. We'll get there, though. But yeah, I forgot. I can also peep creatures. I.e. analyze them for my poke my bug Pokedex. Hello, friend. Hey, what's up? I've learned the I've learned of the weevil. I already know of weevils. Was, uh, they were like aphids or something running around. Where are they? Hey, a common example of the Formicidae family. Oh, look at, look at me, Aunt. Okay. Alright, let's go fight this guy. Yeah. That's what you get, little mite. You don't mess with me, I mess with you. But the water on the ground is going to be dirty, so I can't drink that. At least I don't want to. Only you know, any port in a storm or whatever. Oh, I don't have brain energy to charge that that's okay all right we'll deal with that uh, I can eat these mushrooms to give me a little bit of food as you can see he's a big fan loves the mushrooms only trying to keep him alive he'd have no reason to complain all right weevil I'm sorry but I haven't killed one of you yet and I need to see what what your body hides what delicious treasures await Some raw meat. How bad can it be? Yeah, I can't chop down this grass. I need a chopping utensil. I haven't had to learn ha haven't learned how to make one of those yet, I don't think. But I'm pretty sure after like my first science level up I should should be pretty good on that. <gasps> hey, come here. Oh, where'd you go, little critter? I learned about you. Mm -mm. Teach me about might fuzz. There we go. There we go. That's a level up for you. And there we go. Yeah, okay, so we've learned how to make a pebblet axe, pebblet hammer, clover clothing. Already knew some root crude rope. Rude and crude rope. Okay, let's see. How do we make our axe? Hey, we can already make it. Dunzo. I'm going to want a hammer, too. So we're going to need more pebblets, more sprigs, more rope, a little bit more of everything. But now, check this out. Timber! We got grass! I can make a grass base. And build grass walls. With these big old grass planks. And I love that. And also, probably my favorite part, I can give it a little bit of a... <laughs> and just chuck them. Alright, let's... Grabbing more mats. Kind of hang out. We'll take it easy. Wait for me to make some, you know, bug armor and stuff. We'll, we'll kill things that wander in that probably don't have much of a chance to fight us. As you can see now with a real weapon, things don't stand much of a chance. Oh, that's the red reflected from the leaf. I was like, is this just like a little lake of blood over here? Sorry, it was in... Uh... It was in Elden Ring mode. Thought things were going to be a little bit more violent over here. Going to play a little hunter-gatherer. Don't mind me. Go 
gotta study more. Have I not studied pebbles yet? Put all your brain power. Can I make... Okay. We want to make these. We're going to need dry grass. We need some grass planks and some sap. Clover leaf. I never found thistle needle when we were playing last night, but all my friends had arrows, so I'm assuming they're somewhere. Oh, look, I can make like a little cap. That would give me 5% defense and hyper stam. Whereas if I got the clover, I would have a little bit less resistance, but I get more food from food. So you can see like things give you different stats. Stuff works differently. But it's going to be one of those uh, just satisfying. We're going to build a fortress in this backyard and we'll be protected by the forces of nature. Assuming I can survive long enough to become that powerful. Oh. I don't know if I'm ready to fight an ant. I'm going to I'm going to let the ants kind of have their way of things. Oh, you don't want me you don't want this, man. You're not coming in here. You don't you're not coming in here. There's no reason to come in here. There's no reason to come in here! Stay the fuck away! Okay. We survived, but that hurt. Save it. Learn about what we just did. Look at that. More science. Crossing. Just gonna let him go. I got no interest. No need. Start a ruckus with you. I forgot about how long it takes to charge the science machine to... to learn stuff. You... <laughs> Can't get up here. Can't get up here. You don't know how to climb. Stupid ant. Shadow. The big old bee! Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm getting thirsty. There's water on this bit of grass, so I think if I hit it... Yeah, I heard it. Where'd it go? There it is. Don't even need to boil, Delish. Mr. Ant. Yeah, you stay over there, Mr. Ant. I don't need... I don't need no attention from you. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you be curious over there, pal. Teach me more about glass, grass walls. Look at that. We can learn a lot about grass. Okay. I think this little science zone should be my first base. Oh, that's going to require a lot of grass. So let's start stacking it, bringing it about. Where did I throw that one pile earlier? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, then again, this seems like right in the middle of Ant High Road. Hi, right, guys. You don't want none of this. I'm just in my science lab, not doing anything. Minding my own biz. You're nothing but a soldier, a, a drone ant. That's right, you're not a fighter. Your job isn't to investigate new threats. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Hey, hi. <laughs> I did not mean to throw that. 
Yeah, that's fine. That's that's how ants do. Hi, 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 hi. Just, you know, just, just put stuff to... Oh, there's way too many things. There's too many. <laughs> Please, just take all my grass. You can have it. That's what you want. Yeah, no, you're fine. Okay. Maybe, like, uh, like around here or something? Just kind of, because I feel like everything seems like it's going along this pathway. Let's start just kind of chopping stuff down. Oh, hey, man. Yeah, you can investigate all you want. I'm just over here chopping grass. I know it's something your primitive mind couldn't possibly conceive. But understand that this is just how progress is made. guys we're gonna teach get get a little lesson in personal space all right okay so if these are like yeesh, nearby can I craft I'm sitting right next to the grass stuff but do I have to actually be holding it Stop ganging up on me, you guys! Look at that ant go. Go your own way. I got my own stuff going on, man. Can I make? Did I only learn these walls? I didn't get floors or anything. I got grass chairs and tables. Okay. down for now. Like to steal your food and stuff? You'll see them carrying a, a little bag in their mouth. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Analyze this bug meat. Teach me how to make food out of it. Teach me about mushrooms. Teach me how to make food out of it. First things first, can I make a workbench? Need another sap. Hey, look, I bet that's sap up there. On this here twig, whoop. Hell yeah. Straight from the grass, that dew drop. Yo, Pete might be a nerd, but he got ups. What, I need more sprigs. We'll grab just anything we can get our little, our emphasis on little mitts on. What up, Kimisabe? I needed at least like three of these for the workbench, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's right, I forgot. For these, you can place blueprints and stuff, so you don't need everything on hand. You just set up the blueprint first. We'll make it like right next to the store. And then, super build it. Hey! All right, so now we can make, I think, slightly better things, or maybe things for cheaper. Certain things needed the this to be made. But we're making progress. We're getting there. It'll start slow, but we'll find our way. But I think maybe we go on a little adventure. 
Actually, I want to make food. I don't have a means to really eat good food yet. I kind of wanted to put all this stuff inside a base, but we might have to wait on that until we get more, more stuff. Because I know I can eventually get, like, slats to put my grass pieces on so I can be using them from a distance kind of stuff. And that was super useful. Should probably make more crude rope. That seems to be, like, one of the... Most important things. Oops. It's getting quite late. Don't worry I about it, buddy. Construct some shelter and get some sleep. We haven't really figured out how to do that yet, man. Oh, there we go. Now we know how. I need clover leaf for that. Okay. Figure that out. We'll put it right up against like this rock. This will be our little sleeping zone. Put the two sprigs there, and now we look for clovers. Uh, okay, I thought that was a big spider, like just hanging. That got me real scared. Uh, clover, clover. This all looks like grass. Over, over here. Over. It's like Minecraft, you see. You gotta chop with your axe. intentions your flight path is not cleared but i even hit a gnat oh that's right i can get like arrows and stuff <laughs> all right back to base First, let me do a little bit of research. Now, you don't quite just punch the tree. You do need to have some sort of tool to bring the tree down. Tree being grass. Because when you're little, trees are grass are basically trees, you see. You guys scare me every time, even though you've yet to really be the aggressors. Okay, let's uh, fall asleep. I'll sleep until morning. I hope the ants don't rip me to shreds in my sleep. This game is great, but it's hard to solo. Yeah, that's the impression I'm already getting. My friends and I played on easy mode and as a group. So I'm going in with a very... Probably wildly different expectations versus how it's actually going to be. Hi. Hello. Okay. What can else can I make? I have the axe. I need a hammer. I'll eventually need a shovel, but I don't think we found any acorn things. Can I make armor yet? That would make me feel a little better. Ooh, okay. Sure. We'll make a clover hood. I'll need some more clover leaves. A clover shin guards. Alright, there we go. Now let's take a look. Let's go ahead and equip these babies. I feel a little less squishy now. There we go. Now we're talking. What did I need for the I just needed more clover, right? Okay, yeah. Let's chop down some clovery leaves then. After we get some water. When I should probably get food too. Filtration tablets needed. You should probably still filter that dude if you can. I just get the impression that you can't, what with your belittled and all. Oh, is this dry grass? This looks like dry grass. It is. 
That's new stuff to research, friends. Water your yard, man. Why are some things getting marked? I don't remember that happening. I don't need those mushrooms right now. I guess I'm a little hungry. Maybe that's why it's trying to tell me that. But I'm more interested in clovers. Or little aphids. Come here, you delicious little bug. Oh, where'd he go? We lost him. We lost sight. It's alright. We'll get him next time. There's Clover. And also, I think that's our next objective over there, the mysterious machine. Look at the size of that thing. It's probably the size of a, a bathroom scale? It's like a bathroom scale. Mm, mm. Delicious aphid meat. Let's study it. Let's study our new food. Chance, you've been playing this solo yourself? This is my first time playing it since we played it together. So I'm kind of just hopping in. Like, I remember what we did, but having bug aggression off, I have a feeling is going to be making a big difference. So I'm excited to see what happens. We got our little workstation here. I'm getting hungry, so I should probably build a food spot. Ooh, and we got stuff for it now. I feel like I feel like this pathway here, lots of bugs like to use it. Maybe I'm gonna try and stick things a little away from the beaten path. We'll put this right here for now. And just, you know. Whoop whoop. Surely, like, there's nothing about bugs being attracted to light, right? Like, that's never been a thing. Scientists have never said anything like that's the case. I assume. That should keep me safe. There we go. Oh, Full grass set, baby. You all roasted now? <gasps> roast, aphid roast. There we go, there we go. How hungry are you? Are you hungry enough to eat roasted weevil? Cause I am. Salt. We got this we got this little fort here not really a good one but you know we try we'll gather some supplies over here as we wait for more time to pass there we go just look at this stacking all these grass pallets this will eventually matter we'll eventually need these for structure building get on over there Okay, oh, it's R to huck. I keep thinking R is or G is the throw, but G is just set down. Okay. Right. Maybe go inside that mysterious machine, see what it kicks up. Now that we're fully decked out in our grass poncho, is there a way to like go into first person or third person mode? All right. Let you guys see what I look like other than showing it off in the inventory. This thing hooks up with those lasers. I don't think that worked properly. It seems like the machine needs all three lasers to function. Maybe there's a way to fix them? 
There we go. That one was just being blocked like a dork. Just here for the sap. Just taking sap. Everything's cool. Everything's fine. Everything's cool. Figure out that one over there. Alright, nope. It's a le it's a ladybug. Miss Bug. Ooh. Hark! Yonder lady of the clover forest. On what errand does the day find you? It's a big old mint thing. Inside. Open up. I need a busting tool. Hold on. Busting makes me, you know, sprigs. We need more pebbles and we need rope. Kind of don't have anything here. But we got the rope now. Sprig and pebbles. Spebbles. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme. Oh. Now I can bash stuff. Turns out a rock is softer than a mint. Yeah, it's Flintstone Vitamins. Yeah. You ever try to grind those up with a rock, with a pebble, with a pebble axe even, and a pebble hammer? It's impossible. Which one's the broken laser? We need to go find that laser. First, we're going to grab ourselves some juice. Free drinkies at the juice box. There we go. On top of the world now that I got my juice in me. Pete, cereal juicer. As in, he puts juice in his cereal. Ugh. That's got to be a thing someone does, right? There's got to be some crazy person out there every morning for breakfast. They're like, milk? Nah. Give me some give me some cranberry for my uh, cinnamon toast crunch. Milk grosses me out. I'm lactose intolerant. This is me talking about a hypothetical character. I, I think milk's pretty good. Even though... I, I prefer my cereal dry. I would say if I was going to put it in something, it'd be milk, no doubt. I didn't think I'd be able to chop this. We're thick. Yeah. Apple juice and apple jacks? Okay. I could maybe see something like that working. Oh, wait, this is, this is a new mat. I got weed stems, hmm? Be 
our base was over this way, right? Ask the mints. Surely nothing bad could happen to me. I'm just getting lost over here. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, boy. I should have maybe marked where home base was. Wait, here's all my broken gra my gla my grass planks. A hey, he he he. Everything's fine. Everything's grand. Analyze. Look at that. There we go. We got walls. We got brain power. We knew everything we were going to get, unfortunately. But hey, now we know. We'll just set those there. We'll come back and build with them later. No doubt, no doubt. Bear gnat siding on the ground. Yeah! Okay, let's fix this little machine. Do hickey. You're you this way. I'm just gonna pick up every plant I see. Although I do have limited inventory space. I do have quite a bit of plant fiber. Maybe I can cool it on that. But you could always use more pebbles. Or dry grass. I haven't learned how to make grass floors yet, so I'm kind of nervous to try and build a base because I'll have no way of making it level. But with what little playing I did with my friends the other night, the only thing that like started getting to me was we didn't have a good way within our base to be analyzing stuff. Disturb the mites and they'll bite. Yeah, well, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> Should have made a weevil shield. Oh, you guys don't know about grass, do you? Can't figure out your way around that. Huh. Keep hearing you. Don't see you. Oh, jeez. Why are there so many? Don't you understand? I am man. You're nothing but little bugs to me. Ow! Oh, I need to make a torch. I want to make a torch. I don't like what I'm seeing here. I gotta make torches, don't I? Fine. I'll go into the whole crafting menu. Jeesh. Torch. Need more rope. Easy. There we go. Now we're wait. talking. You disgust me. I don't like your big jumps. Ow! No bite. Hey, you already said that. Oh, there's so many in here. Hey, we're good. We're good. We're just going to take a quick, quick breather. Just going to eat a little bit of an aph aphid steak. Mm. Not bad. Delightful. Ah. Oh, we're going to have so much stuff to make with mites. Yeah, 
We're gonna be eating plenty of mites tonight. Looks like mites back on the menu, boys. This joke brought to you by the year 2006. Tremor detected. Something's afoot. And that. There's like little. Scabby. Additional Ooh. flavor scheme available. Alright. But that's about, but I got it. Allows you to change your interface to new visual flavors. You can choose. Oh, okay, so it's like a menu UI customization. Cool. Uh, was that everything I needed to do down here? I feel like I keep seeing an exclamation point. Investigate the machine further. Okay. Not saying unobstruct the thing, so must have done it. And I never set my respawn point at my lean-to. Okay, you don't need to be burning anymore. Safer with you ready at my side. And they call it a mite. All right, let's uh, activate Mother Effer. That bird is huge. I feel like that is big even if I wasn't small. That bird is like four feet tall. Unless that was a weird Lord of the Rings perspective thing. Okay, which way was my base? I want to study some of the stuff I found. Did I buy the juice? Oh man. Gotta start making markers. I like they're a little scared, like when they when they notice I've noticed them. No map in the game is kind of rough. I'd like if I could just pull up a big map of everything I've seen so far. Here's the mints. I'm like kind of a main roady looking area. Okay. Yeah, he was over here. I seize it. We made it. Quick research. Let me uh, teach me about these. I thought I got more ant pieces. Or might pieces. <laughs> Fine, I guess I'll just study one thing, game. Be that way, why don't you? Don't know grass floor, huh? Ooh, here's that plank pallet I was talking about. Hey. Taking a look. Map marker placed. Look at that. Now, angle. even if I get far away, I should be able to go like, aha, there's where we are. Uh, it's going to be nighttime soon, but I'm going to keep exploring and checking stuff out. Don't even need to boil it. There's, there's like a tree we blew up something with that machine. I just see pure science over here. Just pure floating science. Yes, delicious science. A scientific breakthrough.
the hunter stealthily approaches his quarry. That's a soldier ant. That's a bigger <gasps> ant. The difference from here. Soldier ant spotted. Okay, maybe maybe we maybe we don't maybe we don't go this way. Maybe this uh this is Ant Town. And I don't want to start a problem in Ant Town. Not yet. Ants looking pretty big over there. If you got shrunked, what would be the first thing you'd do? IRL. Yeah, I'd probably do that too. I'd I'd poop myself. Take that, you gross weevil. Just have a panic attack. Cry at how long it's going to take you to get to the kitchen. Natural survivors, you sound like. Yeah, I'm just casual with the bugs now. I've really adjusted to the idea of being tiny. Okay, I don't know what that means when that little thing pops up. Hey. Taking a look. That's just like there's something to scan here. Also, I don't think I knew until very recently that a weevil is a bug. If you would have asked me maybe like a month ago, I would have been like, I don't know, probably like a rodent of some kind. I think in my head I pictured like something kind of like a mole or a shrew. You're gonna love my nuts. Difficult to breathe if you were shrunk down to bug size. What, just because of like toxins or whatever, you know, like debris in the air is now much bigger? Your lungs are still having to deal with it? Right. Gathered some things. Let's head home. We'll be back here soon. But it's starting to get dark. Oh, this seems like Ant Town. Let's move. Don't let them think we're aggressive. The world is a dangerous place, Pete. You just gotta keep moving. I'm guessing there's no, if, if a mint is too strong, there's no way we can break this with our little hammer, right? Doesn't even have like a thing. Is this something you can break? Huh. Not giving me any indication on a, on a tool to use on it. Indestructible shell. 
<laughs> I like how there's like a metal against metal sound when you pull out your little pebble axe. Is that a ghost? Did something... Oh, is... it's my respawn point. Okay. What sap? Make sure to use the sap collectors. They help 100%. Okay. I have a look see at those when I get a chance. But tell me all there is to know about acorns. Ooh, a storage chest and a water container. That sounds like it'd be useful. Boost juice. Told you I was a bit of a juicer. All right, it's dark and spooky time, so I think we're just gonna take a little nap. Wait for the sun to come up. Cause when it gets dark, that's when uh, spiders like to roam. And let me tell you, spiders—they are not a, uh, not something we are capable of dealing with at our current levels. Let's say. It'll just be a little too hard for me to handle, too hot for me to handle, maybe. But I do have this delicious weevil roast that I can consume right now. Yum. Listen to how excited I am about it. And we got new weevil meat to cook. Is that underway? Any water? There's some dew drops. Gimme, gimme. Nice and clean. But just not me take it. Not let me take it until it's done cooking. All right, we got food for the day. Uh, we learned to craft some new armor and stuff. Acorn things. Rope. Clover leaf. Some more ropes. Lots of rope. Can go ahead and make. Go ahead and just craft it. Oops. Keep thinking that's W, but it's not. Let's go ahead and craft. Batch is a five. We'll make 15, because that sounds like overdoing it. There we go. We have the helmet and BDs. Feeling a little safer now. These, what can I do? Crash. There's no. Is there no way to like disassemble, or is that something I can't do yet, or can never do? Maybe we'll just see what happens if we drop them in here, and we'll just leave them for some other lucky adventurer. Sure, it could be me one day. And what else did we need? I can think clover for the for the chest piece. Go find us some clover. Right over there. There we go. Now we're getting all cloved up. And here's just a little about that. Just collecting intel, nothing big.
but okay. We have we have defense now. Things shouldn't be too immediately scary. Excuse me. For what it is, we will have to do. Can I make the shovel yet? Yes. Let's go ahead and make that. I'll need that for grubs. I hear one. Didn't expect that, did you? I got grub hide and grub sludge. Just here for the grub. Where is... Oh, did it take my marker away? I remember this. I remember this shell. Taking a look. New one for the bestiary. Just gonna back away from that. That oh, oh. That cooing sound. Fucking birds out here. Okay. Well, that ain't that ain't looking for a fight. I'll let him go his merry way. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to see spiders now. I'm getting scared. Okay, okay, everything's fine. Everything's cool. We're all good. Let's just take a little sip of our juice. Calm down and relax. Take it easy. Just go nice and slow. They're as afraid of you as you are of them and whatnot. Oh, where's our home? There's the machine. It's easy to spot from the machine. If we find the machine, we can find home. My brain's getting so big! But we already knew how to make everything. All right. I feel like I'm getting resources the game doesn't think I'm gonna get in order to level up to the point where they're teaching me how to use those resources. Whatever. Even from up here, there's no good position to see things. We. Do I, mm, I don't know if I feel comfortable trying to fight a ladybug just yet. This thing looks big and like it could really take a walloping before it's gonna go down. Weak points are its legs and it doesn't like busting. So we're gonna have to take a hammer to the ladybug. The only way. Did you guys ever see the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids movies? Weirdly enough, I think the one I saw the most is the third one, Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves, where the adults get shrunk and they have to rely on their kids to help them. Woo! Ha! 
Papa, call the orchid man. Things are not as they should be. I don't like how much you want to get in my space, dude. I will kill you. Strike you where you stand. You will not stand a chance. That's no grub. It's a larva. Shoo! <laughs> that thing is horrifying. Taking a look. one. Just learning about you. Ow! All right. All right. Okay. You want some of this? We're not doing so much damage. Let's just run. We just gotta be faster. Jeez, and the mites want some of this. I was not expecting a larva to be so scary. I thought those were like practically immobile. I think of a larval state as, like, among a bug's most indefensible states. Why did that happen? Okay, well, I guess, uh, hey, you know what? I think food heals you, too? Let's see. Just pretend it's beef jerky. Yeah, that helps quite a bit. No water filtration tablets needed. Gonna keep moving. Acting as if those okay. Grass is moving because of that big ladybug. On ant wandering over there. Just gotta keep abreast of your surroundings. Just uh keep keep your keep your head on a swivel. That's how you survive the tiny world. Remember, not everything wants to fight right away. Sometimes you can just Whoa. Can I get like little apple chunks off of this? I need a better weapon than this for apple chunks. Okay. Can't like break up the leaves or anything, right? You're grub digging. We'll leave him alone for now. No need to start a fight where there is none. Only ever saw the first shrunk the kids. Like, I'm pretty sure I've seen all of them once. It's honey, I shrunk the kids. Honey, I blew up the baby. And honey, we shrunk ourselves. Is that the order? I don't think I ever saw the blow up the baby one. It's weird to me that these don't seem to get chopped at all. They have no indication that anything can be done to them. Those are just a worthless plant, whatever that is. The only thing I really remember from Honey We Shrunk Ourselves is the one kid has like some sort of health condition or something where he passes out and the only way to get him to wake up is give him potassium. And they're like, bananas! Bananas have potassium! And so now because of that, I will always remember that bananas are a presumably good source of potassium. Uh, and the other thing is the clip they used in like every trailer for it. I don't know what movie or whatever I had that had the trailer for it on it but it's just them they like get caught in a bubble machine or something and when they're in the bubbles the one guy the one dad's like hang on and the other one's like to what because they're in a bubble it's a smooth round surface obviously there's nothing to really cling to inside of a bubble 
And, you know, thinking back, if that was like your highlight joke, the one that you were really gonna want to show off, so you put it in every trailer, you gotta wonder how good the jokes were in the rest of the movie. And it's also mighty telling that I remember none of them. They get like cotton chip dip or something, right? I think that happens. That sounds right. Different. Machine, home should be easy to spot. There it is. Oh yeah, the aggro dead. You shrunk us! <laughs> yes, I'd like, I can, it's weird. Cause I know I watched that movie a lot, but I feel like I way more just saw trailers for it on like, I don't know, Hercules or some other Disney VHS that I had. But yeah, you're very right. They also definitely loved showing that one dead. You shrunk us! Harumph! Day three on Tiny Island. Or is this Big Island and I am Tiny Pete? Tiny Pete's log on Giant Island. Day three. I've really learned how to master the cooking art of Weevil and Aphid. They've become delicious. I no longer desire Dunkaroos or McDonald's McNut Chicken McNuggets. I now wish only for Weevil Roast and Aphid Roast. I feel myself becoming more animal than man in my time in the tiny forest. For the giant forest, while I am, whilst I am tiny Pete. I next seek a true form of shelter and not just a mere lean-to. Is this a big shoe print? I don't think I ever tried to take the time to figure out if I could tell what this is like an imprint of. Why do I feel like it's taken us this long to make a game where you're tiny? Everyone's always liked, you know, like the Honey, I Shrunk the Kid world at uh, Disney World or whatever, where you got to walk around in a place that everything was big. Like, this is a known phenomenon that this is just a fascinating thing to experience. Why didn't we make games like this? What was what was everyone thinking? Better than starving. Oops, no, I didn't mean to do that. I mean, I meant to... Nope. Keep pressing six when I mean to press five. Whatever. Who needs them shrooms? Ooh, this this would be terrifying, but also probably pretty fun in VR. Did we try to kill a ladybug? I'm scared to try and fight a ladybug. Never had to fight a ladybug that would fight back. Hello. Oh, there's a there's a beast right over there. Maybe we don't start a fight with the ladybug. That grub go. Wow, I've never seen what the front of the box looks like before. Lemon crime. Huh, catchy name. What does he mean he's never seen the front of the box before? You don't need to be tiny to see the front of a juice box. I mean, he's just never looking at it. He's always just immediately drinking it and throwing it away. I spy. Church. Sir, if that was some sure, if that was something I should research, would this be a good base? There's like constant source of food and drink right outside. Have our own little juice box farm. Returns to my original issue of not really a nearby place to analyze, though. I feel like I should be collecting more things to analyze, but I haven't. I feel like I haven't found anything for a little. Also, I still don't know what that little periscope thing means over my UI. Like, is that saying this is a good spot for a base? Like, is it going like, check this out? You should build here. Or does it mean like there's something nearby that I'm missing?
I don't like that music. We're moving. What is this? Mark that one off the list. A stink bug. Run. Yeah, I don't like stink bugs at human size. At bug size, stink bugs sound like real bad news. It's the everything is okay alarm. It's there to loudly proclaim how okay everything is. Alright, it wants us to go to the tree. I keep avoiding it because I know spiders maybe live near the tree somewhere. But we're going to have to branch out at some point, right? Ooh, look at those, like, glowing... Oh, I guess they're just really pink. Good looking bee right there. Definitely not just wiggling a P and G in front of me. We used a lot of our acorn to make our armor earlier, so let's gather more in case we need it. behind me everything's scary out here okay I'm very small I'm a diminutive child and all I have is a mallet made out of pebbles understand if I'm a little jumpy like those things. They don't like spicy, though. Well, well, well. What is this? geometric shapes in that painting. They can't be real. No one's ever created shapes like these before. I don't have anything to analyze. I'm in Professor Oak's lab. I didn't realize there's like a little just water cooler in here. That's nice. Lots of sap over there. Not authorized to access that. Come on, come on. I gotta hold E. I'm just an acorn boy. Here to help you. Thanks for the helping hand. You're welcome. Science manager for this project. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power like this guy's surge voice. has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. <laughs> but... Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? You are here, in the Oak Lab. Built and used by Dr. Wendell Tadelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I'm happy 
have not seen him for several weeks. Dr. Tully dead? The over under and Dr. And Tully being no, dead. I cannot recall where he went. It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform. Patent pending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully, your memory will return in time. Your brain is too small for your old, complex memories. To, to your prior sides, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Ha <laughs> ha! That is a great idea. Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing. Processing. Memory fault. Code 408B3000. Ominent OS script runtime error. Arg. I am sorry again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how it's a to a lot of dialogue spacer. in this part. Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Okay. Super chips are special, and they are gold. They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Processing. I don't think I would have pronounced that scabby. Processing. Error. Files not found. Code 632C. Be way too easy. Couldn't do that. Cheese and fries. The lab locations are missing from my memory banks, too. But we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard and used for research on arachnid webbing. Hmm, arachnids. I don't know if I like the sound of that. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the hedge. Sending the coordinates to your scabby. Try to find the Hedge Lab first. But there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. It's Except an open course, world game. You see that insects. tree? You <laughs> can go there. That reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand American on the Sign biometric language. scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL network of computers too. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there. I like the idea of this, like, available. Dr. Wendell figuring out uh, questions, goofy like really recipes for grass and twigs and when he's a scientist and he could have just shrunk his equipment for, I assume have an exponentially great day. okay that was a lot let's get to work with all the stuff he said so first we need to find the sign language post or whatever this thing nice and dramatic Oh, I don't think I ever saw this. What do we got? We want me to kill aphids? You got it. The grave robbery burgle chip? Sure. Craft a slime mold torch. I think I can do at least two of those. Ooh. 
Maybe I'll, I'll wait on some of this because a lot of this sounds like stuff that I would just naturally get, I would think. Oh. Those are all locked. This is locked. Got a bunch of stuff over here that I could grab, but my inventory is pretty full, and it's not like it's going anywhere if it's in here. I could maybe make a lean to. I don't think I can craft things in here or set things in here, I'm pretty sure. For some reason, I can't treat this practically fully functional lab as my home. But this seems like a pretty convenient place to make my lab, you know? Or my home. I installed the borrowed lab modules. Another one of my forgotten inventions from the early days. I had such grand notions back then. Milky the Kinder Muller. Science Mini Quick Little Chemist Lab educational toy for children. But no, Wendell, we can't possibly put hydrochloric acid into the hands of children. The lawyers will never agree. <laughs> oh, Wendell. It's a good thing I never told them about the Bunsen burners that Ominent has been using my toy pieces in this way. Hmm. I digress. The lab network is now up and running in the backyard. I'm planning to dedicate each one of them to a different function. Main power will run through here. The Oak Lab is the center of operations for the backyard. The second lab is nestled into the hedge. Such wonderful views from up there. Side note. I'm worried that Ominent's shoddy manufacturing of the lab pieces will cause them to fall apart over time, but they will do for now. There we go. Yeah, we can go all the way through. Cool. Uh, let's see. It's over here. Break somewhere in the glass. Yeah, here we are. Lots of to do on our list, and we'll figure it out. Swim through the backside of the lab. Give me more science. Now that I understand that the raw science is a, a currency, that makes a little bit more sense. There's stuff to grab that wasn't slime mold. Uh, can I have my torch out? By the out power here? of Helion, champion of the sun. A lot of rustling over here. already want to fight that's a big ant and if we back up maybe we just give these guys their space yeah. Sneak through here I don't want to jump down there Is this tooth blocking my path so I have to go down that way Yes! Hey, what's up down there? Ooh! Ants can't jump. Show me a science book that says ants can jump. I don't believe it. Hey, now look, I know I'm in like your space, but we're, we're cool. We'll come back down here. Maybe after I've crafted a weapon of some sort. A real weapon, not a digging utensil that I'm using as a weapon. Ooh. 
it really wants me to buy something from here, so let's just do it to make that menu go away. Like, learn how a smithing station works. I'll soon be able to smith real weapons. Uh, is it nighttime outside? I feel like it's gonna be nighttime and the spiders are gonna be crawling around. Oh man. I already don't like that sound. What is that? Oh. I need to kill aphids. It's one of my missions. Come back. I don't want to run out in the open. Alright. Okay. Gonna go up high. Bugs never think to go up high. They're stupid and small and they live in the short world. As we covered earlier from our friend Randy Newman, short people got no reason to live, so let's just get away from them. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. We're okay. Give me my sap. Sap. I need to figure out where thistles come from. Because we can make arrows from thistles. But I've never found a thistle before. I feel like stuff like gnats, I don't really know how I'm going to get them without distance. Change. Projectiles. Woo! Must go to the light. I must get to the light. Uh. Uh. Hey. Hey. There we go. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Are they enemies? Like, are they gonna hit, attack me? They seem really focused on the light. It's like waiting for a spider to jump up from below and scare the hell out of me. Maybe I do need to turn the arachnophobia mode on. Just run, just run, just run, just run. This is a scary town, this is a scary town. I don't like it, I don't like it. I don't like being on this floor. <laughs> Find a place to hunker down and sleep until morning. Smithing, though, might be good to have better tools. It's true. My own footsteps, but I'm like, is that something walking around around me? How did I get... Just jump from over there? Last night when we were playing, I got so used to just seeing spiders crawling around and being like, ah, whatever. That now I'm like, I know they're out there and I know they show up in abundance if you aren't paying attention. I just, I can't. I don't want to die, chat. Fun fact, wolf spiders can smell when you're near and will go off, uh, go off their path to find you. Oh, jeez. 
That's okay. That's cool. That's good to know. You heard anything about them turning Sea of Thieves into PVE and adding an arena mode for PvP? Is that a thing? They just had that big update where you can have PvP on demand. It's not really an arena mode. It's just you can basically have Dark Souls invasions. It sounds like a slowly galloping horse. It's a spider. God, that's the most horrifying imagery I think I've ever had. I feel like I'm supposed to be going either deeper into the underground down here or exploring outside more. But with it being nighttime, that makes me so trepidatious to do anything. Because I know what beasts lurk in the night. Can I make a lean to? Here we go. We'll just sleep until morning. Nice spot to sleep right under, right in the lab. Water, which I know I can have and I assume infinite supply in here. Have to keep things clean. There's experimentation to be done. Hmm. Keep it up, Burger. We all like and trust you. Right. In my pocket, bad. A little chewy, but not bad. Do have one row still. We have two roasts. Some raw meat that's gonna go bad almost for sure. I love the sound of the birds being this horrifying. Blah, blah, blah. That said, I think you can hear like a dog in the distance sometimes, and that doesn't sound like weirdly modulated and deep. Also, also, is that how it would work? Any people, any science folk in here know? If you were shrunk and tiny, would high pitch things start sounding deeper to you? That seems weird to me, but I don't think I've also ever wrapped my brain around why the assumption is you'd be higher pitch if you were smaller. I spy. New one for the beast, Jerry. Ugh. Their eyes are huge. What can I craft from the remains of a tadpole? And if there's tadpoles, does that mean there's going to be frogs? Dark Riding, we've been entinified. Entinified. Water boat man. Also, man, how big was this backyard? It has its own little pond. Hmm. Where did I find the clay the other day? Uh, I think it was kind of near here. It's in a very wet spot. If I find it, I'll show it. A mere little ape.
There's spiders, but there's flower petals, and I know that's a material. We're gonna just very slowly, very quietly, avoiding that spider's direction. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh good, oh good. That's just a junior. That's a little one. Nice and clean. There's a flower petal over here. Could have grabbed without the danger. Ooh! I see you. You are a just trying to tempt me near the spider web over there. Which I will want to tear down to some degree. So I can analyze it. Yeah, you go over there. Maybe maybe the spider will aggro to you. Oh, it sounds like there's mites and something. Let's just go the other way. Too many things that are going to want to make noise possibly wake a enemy we're not ready to fight yet. Look at the big bird vanish into space. The weevil stuck in that can. What's the cutest bug, chat? IRL. Bumblebee, ladybugs. Like the big fuzzy bumblebee, the big spotted ladybug. I like that those things just seem in inactive during the day, though. That's a good safety measure to just be aware of that during the day they just kind of hang out in their hole and sleep. Jumping spider, big moths. They can have those cool, like, faces on their wings. That's pretty neat. I don't like big moths, though. They kind of creep me out. It's too... Too meaty for a bug. Uh, I guess let's go down deeper in here. I'm too scared to do stuff topside with all those spiders hanging around. I know ant territory is gonna be tough, but I think we can take it. I'm gonna to choose to believe in me. My mom always says I light up a room. It's down there waiting for me. Hi. Hey, asshole. How do you like this? Oh, okay. Ooh. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. All right. What you got? What you got? What you got? I have the power of fire. Be afraid. Okay, this, this acorn armor is going to keep us safe. Oh, that hurt a lot. Oh, but he's feeling bad too. Maybe if we gave him a little smushing. No, I want to switch to three. Oh God. Okay, uh, eat my beef. 
Okay, uh, okay, everything's fine, everything's good, we did it. Uh, thank you everybody, that was, whew. That's how you kill an ant the perfect way. Couldn't have been done better than that. <laughs>